Hey everybody, I'm Denise Drews. Welcome to Total Body Conditioning, a session just for seniors. Well, it's actually not just for seniors, but it's designed with someone in mind who's over the age of 50. For this workout, all you need is a stability ball and a rubber band, like a tubing. Um, so go ahead and find those objects if you have them around your house. If not, I'm sure you can figure out a way to modify. All right, so we're gonna take this ball and we're just gonna start right here with a plie. You're gonna squeeze in on the ball with your hands, open up your chest, bend your knees. So I'm gonna ask you for a little bit of effort here today, a little bit of work. The goal is to stay active through this hour and also through our lives, right? All right, let's go side to side right here. Just bring that ball to the side of your body. In this workout, we'll work on balance, coordination, strength, cardiovascular fitness, agility, and flexibility. What? All those? All those. All right, you're gonna take the ball and just swing it side to side. Doesn't have to go up high. Just this light ball, this added object, gonna help us get our heart rate up. We're gonna start to turn to our left side. So go ahead and pivot your feet to the side and start to push and pull. Push the ball forward, pull it in. Hold the ball close, lunges down and up. Straight down and up. Let's add the ball, pressing out, pulling in. As you do this, squeeze the ball with your hands, engage your chest, your shoulders, and your core. Four more of these babies. Use your upper back. All right, hold the ball out, push the back heel to the floor, give me a calf stretch. So we're squeezing in on the ball, holding your abs nice and tight, press your heel to the floor. Bring the ball in, drop the back knee and just set this ball on your knee. Use that for kind of a little, you know, a little stability. If you wanna pulse, you can. Eight, seven, six, five. Come back to center, plie, small plies. Put a little smile on your face. Sit after 50. Let's step side to side. Start to swing the ball around to your hip. Warm it up. Take the toes wide and swing it. Squeeze the ball, turn toward your right side, press out, pull in. Beautiful. Take it to a lunge, down and up. As you drop your knee, push the ball away, press out, pull in. Four more of these. Three, two, and one. Hold the ball here, drop the knee. All right, press your heel to the floor. And while you guys are holding your calf stretch, I'm gonna come up here because I think I did, I forgot to share music. So how about if we have some music? That'd be fun, huh? Come to your lunge, hold your ball here. And bring it back to center. Come back to your plies. All right, is your body starting to get a little bit warmer? I hope so. Bring the ball center, pivot towards your left side, lunge, 
Come back to center, pivot right, lunge and come back to center. Pivot, lunge, lift, center. If that's too fast for you or if that hurts your knees, slow it down, make the movement smaller. And that's gonna be my advice through this whole class. Slow down if you need to, less is more. Minimize range of motion and definitely if something hurts, you're just not gonna do it. Don't go to sharp pain. Good, come back to center, plies. Ball is down. Take the nice deep breaths. So as we get into this workout, we'll alternate cardio and strength. Resistance, then we'll get our heart rate up and then resistance again. We'll use that cute little band. We'll do some core work, leave you sweaty and strong. Two more. Now bring your elbows up, lower down, lift up. You're still squeezing the ball, so you're getting this nice shoulder chest exercise as well as shoulders. Let's add in an action. You're gonna squat lift, squeeze your glutes as you press out and in. Down, center, press. Down, center, and press. Just presses, bend your knees and hold, squeeze. Press. Four more. All right, go ahead and put the ball down. Have a seat. Take one leg straight and just reach that same hand toward your toes. Give yourself a little hamstring stretch. Come up tall spine, switch legs. One bent, one straight. Reach your fingers toward the toes of that straight leg. Breathe. All right, coming back to center. Grab your ball again, side to side. Bring it about waist tight. Rotate it all the way around to the side. Drop a toe. Give me a little bit more now through the torso or warmer. Push it away farther. You can go straight arms. Back to chest. Lift the ball over your head. Stay wide. Stay low. Eight, seven, six, five. Bring it in. Step touch, go. Roll it. Kind of a reset movement. Eight, seven, six. Feet wide, plies, hold it down. We're gonna finish our warm up making a letter V. So start to think about moving on an angle. We'll start to the right side, down. Right corner, left corner, right corner, and left. Strong core. Last four here. Three, two, Come back to plie and we'll pull the elbows high. Elbows high, pressing on that ball. Four more. And hold your legs down in that plie. Fall out in front. Give it a squeeze, turn it like a steering wheel. Tell me if your body's warm yet. All right, go ahead and set the ball down. Take out your hands a little bit, grab a drink of water. We're gonna move into our first strength set and we're using the ball for this one. So we're gonna start to work on 
some lower body. So the ball is in close. I'll go slow motion at first. You're gonna step forward with one foot. You're on the back toes. You're gonna come down, left, right, left, and hold. Right, left, right, and hold. Left, right, left, and hold. Right, left, right. So you're getting a lunge, but you're also getting some nice core, some obliques. Can you sink a little lower? Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. All right, now bring the ball down to the floor on the side with your front leg. Your hand stays here, and we're just gonna lift and lower. Regular lunges with a little bit of balance support. You might find that you're a little um, braver when you've got this ball here. So just listen to your knees. Knees get to be the boss here. Right knee is over the, the front knee is over the front ankle. Back, back knee drops straight down. Beautiful, four more. Go ahead and grab that ball. Come to center, hold it close, please. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your butt on the way up. And we're gonna come to a lunge on the other side. So opposite leg in front, come down into your lunge. Abs are in tight. Ball here is close to your body and we're gonna go right, left, right, hold. Left, right, left, hold. Right, left, right, hold. Left, right, left, hold. You're not shy, are you? Left, right, left. Beautiful. Core and legs. Right, left, right. Go once more each way. And then bring that ball down next to the forward leg. Single lunges, down and up. Lift as tall as you can through your head so your spine is straight up and down. Should be feeling the glutes of this front leg really working. Woo. Make sure you've got plenty of water nearby. Hydrate whenever you feel even a little bit thirsty. Four more here. Three, two, and one. Come to center. You should be feeling your hips in a good way. The muscles of your hips, your hamstrings, your quads, your glutes. Add the ball, lifting halfway. Down, squeeze in, squeeze in. Get on the ball. Let's make those Bs again. Down, over. You can come up to a toe. Down, over. Good. Straight down in the center, pull to shoulder height. Keep that heart rate up a little bit. Four more. Three, two, and one. All right, hold the ball here close. Take one foot back, lift and touch. Lift and touch. If balance is a challenge for you, you can put this ball against a wall or on a chair. Eight more glute lifts, a little bit of balance. Seven, feel this muscle right here, strong. 
four, three, two, and one. Switch sides. Press it back. Stay tall. It's a pretty small movement. There's not a lot of forward lean. Woo. Little extra, squeeze the ball a little harder. Eight, seven, six. Woo. Go four, three, two, come to center, plies. You're gonna be tired of plies by the time we're done today, I promise you that. Woo. All right, go ahead and set the ball down. Uh, if possible, have something to sit it on so that it doesn't roll away. A towel might work good for that. Might not. See if you can get it to be still. We're gonna come in front and squat our hips. See if you can touch your ball. See if you can squat to your ball and back up. Your abs stay in tight. How about eight more right here? Seven, six. A chair works just fine if you don't have a ball. Four, three, two, down and hold. Put your weight in your heels, wiggle your toes, hug in your abs and hold. Four, three, two, hands on your legs, press yourself up. All right, good job you guys. Grab a drink of water, refocus right here. Let's move on to some cardio. I know, it feels like we were already doing cardio, doesn't it? You're standing, you've got your ball. What is that guy? Find a step touch. And you're gonna wanna back up a little bit. We're gonna step touch toward the camera. Step touch back. Come forward. Back it up. Let the ball swing with you. Forward, 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 and back, back. Forward. And back. Do that again, forward and back. See what I mean? If you don't have a ball, you can modify. You can just do this without the ball, right? Come forward. And back. We're gonna take two steps to the left, to the right, to left, to the right. Make little circles, little circles. Two circles, little circles, two steps. Woo. All right, right here, rock step, forward and back. Push the ball with you. Take the ball a little higher on that rock. Eight, seven, six, four more. Hold the ball forward, knee lift, knee lift. It's like you're trying to tap that ball with the knee. All right, I got a little balance challenge for you. Hold one knee, press the ball to the knee and squeeze. Woo. Okay, that's harder than I thought. Press, press, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, take the feet out and in, out and in. Woo. Deep breath, everybody. Four, three, two, rock step. Let's go over here. 
Add the ball, press and pull. I think I switched feet on you. I'm not sure which one we did on the other side, actually. So, <laughs> feels like we should be on this one now, yeah? Okay. Hold it forward, knee lift. Eight more. Four, three, two, hold. Hold, press the ball to the knee, press the knee to the ball. Use your abs. Hold for eight, seven, six. Woo. Good, march it out wide, out, out, and in. Hopefully you are warm now. Four, three, two, feet together, out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in. Let the ball go away from you, out and in, out and in, out, in. One, two, three. One, two, three. Do you want to take that a little faster? Hold the ball in close. One and two, one and two, one and two. Keep the ball tight. Four, three, two. Step touch, forward and back, forward, bring it back, let's swing the ball, forward, back, forward, and back, keep that going, just let it swing, Bring it back. Forward. And back. Right here, back to our favorite movement, our plie. All right, just check in. How's your breathing? How's your heart rate? Are you feeling strong? Seniors on strength, total body conditioning. I know, so I'm 57 and it's hard for me to call myself a senior too. But there are different needs in a body that's over 50 than a body that's under 50. Four more. Typically, an older body needs to move just a little bit more slowly. Make a V. And lower impact movements tend to feel better to our joints. We have a greater need for strength training. Range of motion. More important than ever that we move it, right? Motion is lotion. It's important to work on balance. because we age, our balance declines. All right, go ahead and have a seat. Grab your tubing. Let's work on strength. Okay, so take a good comfortable seat right on top of the ball. Put the band around your feet and make sure it's nice and secure. And you've got a little bit of, you've got a lot of tension there. We're gonna work on bicep curls, up and down. So keep adjusting to the point where you feel stable. Your heels and your ball are making a nice little tripod and you can get your arms pretty straight and have some great tension coming up, okay? We're gonna work a lot of uh, body parts in this section. Just gonna kind of keep moving through the body. 
Let's hit eight more right here. Keep breathing, sit as tall as you can. Go four, three, two, and one. Okay, bring your feet flat to the floor. Cross your handles. So you've got a nice little cross right here. We're just gonna push one foot out and then the other. Slide one foot out and the other. So you're getting those outer thighs. Press out, press out, press out. Hip abduction. To abduct means to take the leg out away from you. Woo. I know, those are fun. Let's go eight more. Sit tall, pull in those abs. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Uncross. Go back to your original position. Knees slightly bent for rows. And you could keep the band crossed for this one if you want a little bit more resistance here. Elbows in or wide. Maybe try a little bit of both. Try a few of each. Really hug your abs in. That's the support for your spine. That helps you stay upright. Come on, row it. Eight more here. Try it with me. Narrow wide. Another thing that's so great about workouts like this is it challenges our coordination. We have to think when we're doing movements that are a little different than our everyday ordinary movements. Go ahead and release that. Tap your toes. Tap it out. Eight, seven, six, five. We're gonna stand, so if you need to park your ball again or if it's gonna go away, it's okay. We're just gonna do some standing squats using our band. All right, so feet are nice and wide. Hands here at the hips, down we go. Sit low, stand high. If you have a really loose band and or really strong lower body, pull the band to your shoulders Give yourself a little bit more resistance. Keep your abs nice and tight. Beautiful. So from the side, you can see that I'm sticking my hips back. I'm lifting my chest and shoulders. So my back is straight. We've got eight more. Four. Three, and two, one. Release that. All right. You're gonna stand in your band with your feet a little closer together. Put a bend in your knees, elbows high, press back into those triceps. Bend your knees as much as possible to keep a nice straight spine, neutral spine. Hips are back, chest is forward. Woo. Go, eight more. Seven, six. Good, three, and two, one. Go ahead and step so that you can bring the band across your upper back like this. You're gonna loop your hand in on the band but try not to get it too tight around your hand. The band is coming under your shoulders. A little bit of a squat for chest press. Work your chest. So we made it through biceps, triceps, some legs, the chest. We'll end with upper back. Shoulders down away from your ears. Everybody breathe. Give me eight more here. Seven. Welcome to your life. Eight. 
and release the band. Bring the band in front of you. And again, grab loose handles so that there's about this much between your hands. Shoulders back, rows, pull back. And in addition to pulling back, you're pulling your hands out nice and wide. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, abs in tight, come on. Think of standing two inches taller than you normally do. Eight, seven, six, five, Ooh. Last one, hold, pulse out right here. Relax your neck, make it be your upper back doing the work, not your neck. Eight, seven, six, five, Woo. and let that go. All right, you guys, grab a drink of water. We are going to hit some cardio and we're not gonna use the ball this time. All right, trying to park it. There we go, I think, nope. I need one of those little stepper things that holds the ball for me. All right, here we go. Step, touch, come forward, come back. Forward, back. You can use your arms if you want. Forward, and back. Two steps to your left. Let's do this. Rock step across the body. You keep going with this. I've got a camera that like gets frustrated when I'm moving around so much doesn't understand good old-fashioned aerobics, does it? Four more. Three, two, take this same foot out to the side. Out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in. One more. March left, step touch, right foot, take it back, forward, back, you can put a little hop if you want to, bring it back, one more time, front and back, heart rate's up a little bit, Two steps right. Good. Two and two. Rock step across. Take it out to the side. Out and cross, out and cross, out and cross. One more time. March left, step touch. Bring it forward. Bring it back. Two steps. Rock step, take it across. Four, three, two, take it out wide. Out and across, out and across. March right, step touch, forward. 
and back. Gotta put it all together. Forward. And back. Two steps right. I know that camera got a little blurry, but I'm just gonna go with it here because it keeps fixing itself. Mark forward and back. If you're feeling extra fancy, put in a pivot. <laughs> out, here we go. Out and cross, out and cross. March it out. Knee lifts, bring it up in front. So, when we're working with knee lifts, we're working balance again. Agility, cardiovascular work, plus some balance. Low kicks, kick it out in front of you. Eight more. Good, come into a squat, down and up, right here. Now squats are usually used for strength because they are using our body weight as strength, but they're also a great way to get the heart rate up. Pull, reach, pull and reach. Four, three, two, Hold, sit down for three, hold, three, two, one, press up on four. Press it up. Step up, touch one more time. Pull the heel behind you. Nice little stretch across the quadriceps while you're doing that. Let's finish the cardio with the toe to the floor. If you want, swing your arms side to side. Good job. Take it out wider, go, get low. Abs are in, finish it off, lift that leg. Four. Three, two, one, march it out. All right, you guys, we're almost there. We're gonna grab a mat for this one. So if you need to hit pause, go ahead and do that. And then bring a mat to the floor. Have your ball with you. And that is all we're gonna need here as we finish this off is a ball and a map. And of course, a great attitude. All right. We'll do some strength. We'll do some core and some flexibility, okay? So we're gonna sit like this with the ball here on our shin, or maybe the top of our knees. Sit with a tall spine, and you're just gonna curl back and sit up. Round back and sit up. Round back. Just a little supine seated curl backwards. So we got a little bit of core going on here. Eight. Lift and seven. Six. Five. Easy, easy. Four more. Listen to the muscles in your core. They're telling you thank you. Two. And one. And go ahead and bring the ball to the floor. All right, so we're gonna be on our back for this. And we've got our feet and our calves up on the ball. Arms at the sides. Shoulders down, head down, abs stay strong. I want you to lift four, three, two, up into bridge and back down. 
Okay, so we're gonna start with this as level or layer one. Your feet, your calves, the backs of your knees are holding the ball in place. You might feel your hamstrings doing a little bit of work, because they are, your glutes and your back. All right, if that feels okay and you wanna make it a little harder, heels on top and you're gonna be able to lift a little higher and you'll tell, oh boy, there's some more hamstrings. Come up, four, three, two, one, and down. That is seriously making me shake. I hope it is making you shake as well. Down. Ah. All right, go ahead and bring the feet across again. Come across and lower, cross over and lower, slow. See if you can feel your heels, your calves, your legs pressing into the ball. So keep the legs a little bit active. They're not just draped over, hanging out. They're active. To make this a little more challenging, keep your elbows wide. Point the elbow toward the ceiling instead of towards your leg. Nice. Breathe. We're going to go four more. Cross and lower. And cross and lower. Two more. Good. Elbows wide. Keep it slow. Come straight up, straight down. So good old fashioned crunches. But in addition to just crunching these muscles in the front, I'd like you to think of cinching in all the way around. We've got this awesome muscle deep in our abdomen and it wraps around us literally like a great big corset, a great big belt. As you lift, cinch it in tight, loosen it as you roll down. Elbows are wide. You cannot see your elbows outside of your peripheral vision, right? To make it a little harder, you can come to heels on top of the ball and press your heels down. You're gonna be able to tell that's creating a lot of pressure, a lot of core stability, a brace, if you will. Last four and lift, last three, and two more. All right, go ahead and take your feet out to the side of the ball. Squeeze the ball with your inner legs. Grab your legs and help yourself up to sitting. Come back to where we started. So right on those sitting bones, ball here, roll down and lift. You might notice that after we've done those crunches, those stabilizers, you might have a little bigger range of motion now. If you want to add one final challenge, let the ball come with you, lift it as you come up. Bring it in and press it up. You know your range of motion. This can be small, it can be big, as long as there's no pain. Whew. I love these. Love, hate, maybe, but I love them. <sighs> Challenge yourself. We're coming to the finish line. We're about ready to head into stretching and cool down. <sighs> Two more is all. And release your ball, keep it nearby. Grab a drink of water and let's start to make our way into cool down. I'm gonna switch your music for you, all right? All right, friends, you did an amazing job today. Go ahead and lay down on your back. Put your feet on top of your ball. And take them a little bit wider this time. All right, so, good, we're still on. So out here, kind of the if you were holding a steering wheel, it would be like 
10 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Arms out wide and just roll the ball from side to side. And you're just going to go a little bit, not a lot. Enough to feel yourself rolling across the sacrum. Rolling from one hip to the other. Almost like a little massage across your low back. We're going to move towards some flexibility work. The purpose of keeping ourselves active and staying with range of motion. So go ahead and bring your left leg straight on top of the ball and bring your right foot across. So you're making a figure four. And then you can just pull, put the heel on the ball and pull towards you until you feel a stretch here in the hip of the bent knee, front knee. For a little bit more, you can press your hand to that knee and just feel a gentle deepening of the stretch in your piriformis, your hip rotator muscles. Find some nice deep breaths here, allowing you to settle, to slow down, to change the tempo of movement. And switch sides, put your right heel on top, straight on, the left knee bends, come into a figure four. And then let that heel come towards you until you feel a stretch in your hip. You can press on the top knee, pressing it away. Let breath make its way all the way down into your hips. Ah. Here and now, congratulating yourself for the effort you made to show up for yourself today. We'll release this. Let's go ahead and bring our feet off the ball, roll to one side and come around to a tabletop position. All fours, and if your knees are sensitive, put a blanket or fold your mat under your knees just to give you a little extra padding. Okay. Let's move into spinal balance. So pull your belly in and up, pick up your right hand and your left knee. So I'm gonna do this, so right hand, left knee, and then slowly reach that out away from you. Fingers forward, toes back. Some people call this move bird dog. And just reach and breathe. Reach and breathe. This hip lifts up. Thumb lifts a little bit more. And release, hand and knee and switch. Left hand up, right knee up, find your balance, find your stability, and then reach out front to back. Like you're holding a glass of water on your hips and you don't want it to spill, keep that area flat, stable and strong. Eyes on the mat in front of you. Breathe, lift your hip a little, lift your front thumb, and then release. Tuck your tailbone and move your lower back into cow, sorry, cat. See how much you can put rounding through your lower back, chin to chest. Moving around if you need to, but just get a nice cat stretch. And then let's bring our hands closer to us. One foot comes forward. Use that knee to help you stand up. And just take a hold of your ball. Come down into a plie little bit of motion 
push the ball out in front of you. Bring the ball overhead. Just see how your joints feel after a little bit of movement. Take a nice big circle with the ball. If you like, you can lift one leg. Take a circle. You can lift a leg. Nice easy circle. And lift. Circle. And lift. Drop the ball. Have a seat. We'll go back to a stretch we did early on. So extend your left leg, your right knee stays bent, and you can take it wide to give you some good stability. And then reach your left fingers, either you can reach them out over your toe or to your toe. Reaching them out this way prevents us from rounding the spine and instead keeps us stretching the hamstring. Reach past your toes. Breathe deeply. Come up this right leg comes, you can cross at the ankle. If you really feel confident with your balance, you can cross at the knee. Ball's a little squishy, so I'm gonna cross at the ankle and just twist to your right. Come back to your center, feet wide, left leg out, reach out over those toes. You can touch the toes if you want, or just reach out over. Get a nice long stretch in those hamstrings. Some nice deep breaths. And as we come up, cross your ankle. Cross at the knees and we're going to twist toward your left side. Another beautiful thing about sitting on a ball is it causes you to use your core muscles just to sit here. So if you can swap out your office chair for a ball, even better. All right, feet come wide. Wide as you can get them. Left hand inside the left knee. Push your shoulder across towards your right knee. You're going to feel this here in these muscles of your, your lats in the back of your rib cage. And switch. Come across. Come back to center. Round your back and pull it through a couple of times. Open up your arms, reach behind you, interlace, find a chest stretch. Arms come up high, pat yourself on the back, stretching triceps. And switch. And then just release your hands to your knees. Take your feet to where you feel stable, balanced, and if you can, close your eyes. You can also just look down in front of you. Take some deep breaths, deep, relaxing breaths. Just acknowledging yourself for showing up for a workout and for the effort you made. Hopefully this workout and your workouts in general inspire you to step into the areas of your life where you need a little more effort and you have the strength to do what needs to be done. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bring your hands together. Give yourselves a big round of applause and have a fabulous day. I will see you next time on Total Body Conditioning.